hello, hello. Um, now, this woman, her name is Shanice Avalis. Now, she is known <laughs> being called the little Fokker. She's been stealing Christmas presents. She's been busted for stealing these Christmas presents. And now, this individual has a revolving door of thefts and burglary with no bail requirements to, uh, due to the bail reform. Now, she was caught stealing Christmas presents in Robert De Niro's townhouse. She is a serial burglar, and she was caught red-handed rifling through Robert De Niro's Manhattan townhouse early Monday fiddling with the actor's iPad and grabbing presents under his Christmas tree. Now, the 30-year-old woman, so she's not a teenager, she's a 30-year-old woman, and, and her name again is Shanice Avalis, crept down a stairwell leading to the 79-year-old Irish man starts townhouse on the Upper East Side around 2.30 a.m., right? Now, eagle-eyed cops with the NYPD's 19th Precinct Public Safety Team have been keeping an eye on Avalis, a known burglar. See, she is a known burglar with more than 25 arrests on her rap sheet. That's a lot of arrests, right? After she was spotted trying to open doors to commercial buildings in the neighborhood before she got to the townhouse, according to the sources. The cops trailed her into De Niro's home and found her on the second floor, fumbling around with the star's iPad, the sources said. She was still in Christmas presents, a police official added. Now, there are photos of De Niro all over his house, but the actor himself was nowhere in sight. So he was upstairs, the actor and his daughter, they were in a bedroom. Uh, he was upstairs and his daughter was in a bedroom. And none of the residents knew what was going on. Now, the officers busted Avalis inside the $69,000 a month rental home with her arraignment on the latest burglary charges now pending. Now, this is what she's yelling out. Shanice, uh, you know, Fokker, little Fokker Avalis is yelling out. I didn't murder anybody, she yells at reporters as she was led out of the 19th Precinct Station House in handcuffs Monday afternoon. I didn't go to Robert De Niro's house. Avalis has at least 26 prior arrests, mostly for burglaries, which are not eligible for bail under the state's controversial criminal justice reforms allowing her to go free. Now, the sticky finger thief began her crimes during the pandemic. Okay, this year alone, she has been busted 16 times for burglary and petite larceny, according to the sources. Back in the saddle with this perp, said a police source. Record show, a uh, record show, Avalis was arraigned on charges connected to two Queens burglaries just last Wednesday and released without bail, according to records and sources. In those cases, she was accused of stealing $1,000 in cash from St. Patrick's Church in Dutch Kills on October 23rd and of ransacking an apartment on October 1st, making off with a debit card she later used the card to charge more than $50 at a local 7-Eleven, according to the criminal complaint against her. She was also picked up for at least six burglaries in the 19th Precinct, which covers the Upper East Side between November 25th and December 8th, the sources said. She was arraigned in Manhattan Criminal Court on December 9th, where a judge ordered a $5,000 cash bail after prosecutors requested the amount be set at $35,000, the district attorney's office said. Now, a different Manhattan judge then agreed to release Avalis into a 28-day drug rehab program at Cornerstone Treatment Facilities on December 13th, prosecutors said. But she skipped out on her next court appearance, and a bench warrant was issued for her arrest two days later, according to the DA's office. Prior to that, Avalis was arraigned on October 11th on three separate burglaries in Manhattan dating to August, according to her criminal complaint. Those included an October 11th heist in which a 68-year-old homeowner allegedly found her hiding behind his fridge when he woke up and realized his wallet was missing from his night table. He allegedly cut the thief, excuse me, he allegedly caught the thief hiding behind his fridge and got into a scuffle with her stabbing her in the leg, according to the complaint. 
on October 3rd, Avalis allegedly broke into a woman's apartment and made off with a bag, $2,200, excuse me, in cash, a ring, and other items. The victim told police she woke up and saw the thief walking th th in through her front door, but was so scared she stayed in bed and watched as the suspect robbed her, according to the complaint. Avalis was also charged with stealing $2,000 in coupons from an East 70th Street community center on August 19th, the record show. This is just another example of the catch and release justice system we're dealing with, the police official said. A source described Avalis as one of the 19th precinct's top five burglars. Reps for De Niro declined to comment on Monday's burglary. It says we are not making any statements at this time about the robbery at the temporary rental home of Robert De Niro. You know what? This young woman, right? This young woman, she needs to be in jail. She's had too many, too many, too many, too many, too many arrests of burglary. And it's burglary in a church, burglary at a community center, which usually is to help other people. Uh, burglary at someone's home, uh, burglary at another person's home, not just Robert De Niro's, but this woman, and she said she was afraid, so she watched her. She was afraid. I don't know, you know, I can't speak for anybody else, but I don't know if you watching somebody, you could have got under the bed, you could have got a weapon, you could have got something uh, as they were coming up, and you could have kind of uh, probably like, I don't know. Man, you know, you got to protect yourself. This woman, I mean, thank God she didn't harm the lady. She didn't, you know, have a weapon. But um, you're watching somebody come through your front door and you don't get out the bed and do nothing? I, 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 wow, okay. But anyway, I'm glad that the woman is okay. Hopefully she'll recover whatever she, her purse back, if it was an expensive purse, you know, because a lot of times people do care, uh, do purchase expensive uh, items. But however, I'm glad, again, you know, that she's okay, but you're watching her come in your house, not like, you know, you were sleeping, you woke up, and she was standing over you, you watched her, so I don't know how old this lady was that was afraid like that, she may not have had a weapon to be, to defend herself, you know, and you know that, uh, you know, there is a, uh, a rise in people, uh, women, excuse me, a rise in women going to take gun lessons, you know, and protecting themselves with, you know, uh, a piece. I just say it like that. And that's all I'm saying on that. But um, this is a woman that really needs to be locked up. She does not need to be uh, let out again because those are it's so many different, uh, you know, she's had so many charges against her, so many burglaries that to me, they should all be compiling, but they're not because with the, you know, with the uh, bail reform, excuse me, with the bail reform, you know, they're not able to hold her because of the bail reform. So they're not able to send any type of bail for her. And so this is what's happening. And it, and it sounds like that she is stealing because she has a drug addiction. And that is why the judge wanted to send her to uh, drug rehab. And that's what it's sounding like. But this is a young woman that she's going to, uh, you know, break in the wrong home. Uh, something's going to happen. She's going to wind up breaking into the to the wrong home and somebody is going to, you know, she's going to catch some type of case, you know. And, you know, I don't want to say, you know, her to get hurt or anything, but something's going to wind up happening to her for going around breaking in people's homes. Somebody's not going to be uh, too uh, lenient. Somebody might wind up being so scared that they pulled a weapon and you know, I'm just saying, you know, uh, unalive her. It, it, she's gonna, Something's going to happen to her with her running around. She's going to wind up, like I said, encountering the wrong person, breaking into the wrong person's home. And basically, something's truly going to happen to her because uh, the catch and release is where they're catching these criminals. And then basically, they go through the, the you know, they get uh, processed in and then they're released again. Um, you know, and the thing is about this, this woman has like 26, you know, 26 burglaries and nothing's being done about it. And that's why she keeps doing it. And there may be drugs involved where she needs to get help, you know, but I'm hoping that she gets the help before something happens to her because somebody is not going to be too, you know, nice and kind.
uh, you know, and something may wind up happening in a way that, you know, so really something definitely needs to be done about it. I, I just don't see, you know, but when you have the bail reform, that's what happens when they lower, um, excuse me, when they raise uh, the dollar amount of theft and they have bail reform where all these petty crimes and depending on what she's stealing and how much, they're not able to keep her in behind bars, you know, so they have to release her. So I want to know what you all think about this. Uh, think about what if it was you, what if it was your home that she was breaking in, what were you in there? Or if you was in the bed, you know, and you watch someone walking through your front door, please leave your respectful comments below. What would you do? I, I like to hear from you. What would you do? I mean, it, it like I said, for me, it would be hard for me to watch them uh, without me getting up and at least <laughs> trying to figure out how I'm going, you know. Well, let me leave that alone. But anyway, um, let me know what you all think. Really tell me what you think. Be honest, but be respectful. <laughs> you know, if you have to disguise some words, you know, do that too or misspell some words. But um, let me know what you think. Please leave your comments below on this. Uh, thank you for tuning in. You know, please like the video. Give it, give it a thumbs up, please. Share the video and subscribe to the channel. And then uh, don't forget, like I said, to follow me on Instagram at Stand Up B County. You can, uh, if you want to support the channel, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you know, check out my jury. And then don't forget to stick with the six weeks, any mode or form of exercise, three times a week, 30 minutes a day. And you can do it in 10 minute increments. And I hope that you all, whoever decide to participate, I know who some of you are. Uh, I hope that you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while on how you're doing. And do you want to go into the new year with a new body? You know what I mean? Uh, and when I say that, you've lost a little weight if that's what you wanted. Um, you know, you wanted to get back in shape, be toned up, maybe lose some weight, and also maybe bring down your cholesterol levels or blood pressure or, you know, diabetes, get that, you know, your blood sugar's under control. There's a lot of things that you can do um, to get back in shape. And remember, it's any mode or form of exercise, three times a week, 30 minutes a day. And again, you can do it in 10-minute increments to break it up. So sticking with it. So six weeks. Stick with it six weeks. God bless you all on today. Peace out.